Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm doing a review of the NVIDIA 3D Glasses Kit version 2. This is the second iteration in the NVIDIA 3D Glasses Kit that is available. What you're seeing on the left with that green glow is actually the sensor which communicates the 3D signal to the glasses, as the glasses are wireless. And the adapter which connects to the 3D sensor to your computer is about 5 feet long. Uh, it's a specialized USB cable. Now when first setting up this 3D kit, there is a software available from NVIDIA and it does pretty much all the work for you. It's a really easy to use wizard. Now the little button at the front of the sensor that I'm pressing right now will glow a light green if it's on and inactive. It'll be a solid dark green if it's active and 3D is being projected through the 3D glasses and red if it's not in sync or if there's something wrong with the drivers and the connectivity to your computer. Going to the back of the sensor, uh, you'll notice that there's kind of a notch swivel. What this basically does is allow you to control the 3D depth if you want a deeper 3D feel or more shallow. You can alternatively press Control T on your keyboard. At the back you have two ports for connecting to your computer, but I only use one of the two. Now when watching 3D movies in theaters, you're using passive technology, which basically means you just put on the glasses and you're set to go. Whereas this 3D kit uses active 3D technology, which means that the glasses are battery operated, what might put you off. However, they have an astonishing 60 hour battery life on a single recharge. And I have tested that with draining the battery multiple times and recharging it, and I always average about 60 hours of usage. To recharge the batteries, it takes roughly two hours to fully recharge it from zero to 100%. And while the battery is being recharged while connected to your computer, you can still actually use the 3D glasses. Now the connection to the uh, 3D glasses for the battery recharging is located right here through the micro USB port. And the micro USB wire does come out of the box and is about 6 feet in length. So using it while recharging and playing at the same time is no problem at all. Now in terms of range, I'm getting about 15 feet of solid connectivity. After that point, it does start to disconnect here and there. Something you don't see too often with 3D glasses is being able to adjust the nose notch. And now that kind of sounds weird, but there is actually three fittings available out of the box. One is currently on the 3D glasses. And what this basically does is allow you to change the nose notch fitting. So depending if your nose is big, small, wide, narrow, you can actually change between one of the three notches available out of the box and kind of have it suited to, you know, be comfortable with your nose, which is actually a great and simple concept. Now the 3D glasses themselves are surprisingly comfortable, especially considering as you're seeing right now, they're on top of my prescription glasses. It might surprise you how comfortable they are, but this is important, especially considering if you might want to play 3D video games for a couple hours in a single session. Now they do use light boost technology, so compared to the first version of the 3D glasses, they do output more light, which is more important, because your picture won't look too dark. In regards to watching movies, you can play 3D YouTube videos, but let's face it, who uploads 3D YouTube videos anyway? You can play 3D Blu-rays, and there is an NVIDIA 3D media player. So you can actually play 3D videos that are locally stored on your computer. However, the media player itself is a horrendous experience. In fact, it hasn't been updated in years. I'll put a link to where you can download it in the video description, but it's really outdated and it doesn't work well. So for those of you that are hoping to watch some 3D pornography, well, you're kind of out of luck. Sorry. In fact, one of the most surprising things about using these 3D glasses is when watching 3D movies, my eyes tend to get really strained. I noticed that the 3D content in the movies don't look great. They look a lot better on my 3D TV. However, the ironic part is that when playing games in 3D, they don't really strain my eyes at all. For the most part, they're fantastic. It should actually be the opposite, where watching movies is more comfortable on my eyes and playing video games is more straining, but for some reason, that's not the case. But I guess that's what you would expect from NVIDIA, which is a good thing. Do keep in mind that in order to accomplish playing 3D video games, you need a few things. You need this wireless kit which I'm reviewing right now, you need a gaming monitor which supports 3D NVIDIA technology, and you need an NVIDIA graphic card which supports 3D output. So this is not going to be an easy, cheap thing to accomplish. An important thing to keep in mind is that when playing video games in 3D, it'll be more taxing on your graphic card. So to get a really nice experience, it's nice to have a more powerful NVIDIA graphic card. Now in terms of the experience from game to game, it will differ when playing them in 3D. For example, Watch Dogs, the NVIDIA software said it would be pretty compatible, and I found my experience to be kind of mediocre. However, when it came to playing Shadow of Mordor, the NVIDIA software said it won't be that great of an experience because the 3D depth is out of alignment, but I actually found it more enjoyable to play than Watch Dogs, which is kind of ironic. Because this uses active 3D glasses, keep in mind that if you have your 3D gaming monitor in front of a window and there's a lot of sunlight in the background, you will notice a lot of flickering from the sunlight. 
uh, which can be kind of annoying. So it's best to use these 3D glasses with light sources behind you. So when using these 3D glasses with your 3D gaming monitor, it's no problem, but this is the light flickering that you'll get if it's, say, a source of light behind you or behind the monitor, for example, if you're looking at it. Light sources, say for my room light that's above and behind me, uh, despite my light bulb being very bright, it doesn't annoy me. It's just really strong light sources like sunlight behind your monitor that might disturb you. So don't be put off by it too much. Just wanted to give you a quick example. However, NVIDIA was nice enough to actually include a pouch, which probably cost them just a few cents to manufacture. What this pouch is basically designed to do is keep your glasses inside, so it kind of prevents dust and fingerprints from anyone who might touch them, which is nice, but it's very snug of a fit. I'm actually fortunate enough to get it quickly inside the pouch for this filming. Uh, usually it takes me like almost double, triple the amount of time, but it's especially annoying when you have to put the cables in there as well. Now the cable that I tend to keep in there is the one that's used for recharging the glasses. Now this is a six foot cable and you're trying to squeeze in this pouch which barely fits the 3D glasses. It's an extremely snug fit. They could have made it just a bit wider. I'm not sure why they made it so tight. But, you know, if you're going to put the bag in there, include it in the box, at least do a decent job in video. So that's the end of the review. There's not much else to go over. I mean, it's just 3D glasses. In fact, the key points here will be a pretty short list. Now, it is not cheap to accomplish as you need an NVIDIA graphic card which supports 3D output, a gaming monitor which supports 3D output for this technology which I just reviewed, and a 3D kit which I am talking about right now in this video. Overall, it doesn't make you a better gamer, but it does make certain games more immersive. So be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, Instagram links in the video description. And the monitor that I used for this 3D kit, because you need a 3D monitor that supports this kit, you can find a link to that monitor review in the video description. It is a fantastic gaming monitor, and you can find out why in the review. And that's pretty much it. Be sure to hit that like button, it does help, subscribe, and thanks for watching.